Hello friends, welcome to Insight Text. This is a platform to learn about power transmission elements and its control system. So friends, continuing in our onload tab change transport series, uh, we are going to learn about the control circuit wiring in today's video. So friends, we have many different videos on PT wiring, CT wiring, panel to breaker schedule, and also our four videos about the OLTC, that is step changes in transformer are already available on our channel. So you can uh, visit those videos through the link given in the description box. There are two main types of tap changers in a transformer. We know one is the onload tap changer and the other is offload tap changer. So we have discussed both in our previous videos. We have seen how onload tap changing occurs and how the movement of the tap changer occurs in this way, right? So uh, uh, tap changer controller has basically two parts. One is the OLTC that is onload tap changer and other is the RTCC that is the remote tap changer control. So this OLTC is over here in the transformer itself and uh, the RTCC panel. See this is inside this OLTC box. Okay, So you can see all these tap rings. And this is the RTCC remote tap changer control. This is placed inside the control room in the substation. Uh, this is from inside of the OLTC inside the transformer. Okay, so you can see this is the diverter switch that we were talking about. And these are different kinds of tappings with all different resistance values. You can see over here. And this is the outside of the DM box. So friends, in the previous video, we have already seen the power circuit. This is the power circuit of the tap changer. And uh, we have seen these two contacts, MRCL and MRCR, for raising and lower of the tap. Okay, so we have seen how this entire power circuit works. And this is the motor. To rotate this motor, these two contacts are main and this contacts get the command from the control circuit so we will learn in detail about control circuit wiring in today's video so basically this is the control circuit wiring that we were talking about uh, so this is divided basically into two parts uh, this kind of terminals you can see terminals of the rtcc panel Okay, and this kind of terminal are for the OLTC DM box. Now this is a completely mixed circuit. So in this in this circuit, we will see what part belongs to this DM box that is in the OLTC outside near the transformer and what part belongs to the RTCC panel that is inside the control room. And we will also see how this DM box and RTCC panel are connected through wiring. So wiring between the DM box and RTCC panel we are going to learn today. So this parts, these two parts belong to the DM box. Okay. This green highlighted part belongs to the DM box in the OLTC and the rest of this part are inside the RTCC panel. Okay. And over here, in this circuit, this part highlighted part belongs to the RTCC panel and the rest is in the OLTC DM box, right? So, the first thing that comes in picture is this transformer. This is, uh, we have taken to any two phase, okay? And uh, between these two, this transformer is connected. The transformer rating is basically 415 by 1110 volt. But uh, in this transformer, the tappings are provided in such a way that it is 55, 0, 055 volts. Okay. So you can either increase 55 volts or you can go negative 55 volts. Right. So this kind of transformer is provided over here. So this you can look over here. This is this transformer. Right. So this is the transformer. The next thing that comes is this CMCB. Okay. This CMCB is the main switch inside this DM box. Okay. So when you turn on, this is located over here. So when you turn on, okay. Now the power, may, this is the main supply for this uh, DM box. After that, we come is 
CSS3. Okay, so CSS3 is the main control supply switch that is uh, situated in the RTCC panel. Okay, and in the RTCC panel, this is the main turn on switch. Uh, power from here goes to the RTCC panel. Okay. Uh, so when you open this RTCC panel, inside this you can see this AC1, this AC1 contactor. This AC1 contactor is responsible for operating of these two LEDs L1 and L2. Okay, so these LEDs are located on the RTCC panel. Okay, uh, so whenever uh, to operate this LED, we need this contactor AC1. So when you open the RTCC panel inside, you will find this AC1 contactor. Okay. So use uh, if whenever uh, this is on, contactor is operated, this contact gets closed and L1 LED will glow. So that means RTCC panel supply is on. So L1 will be glowing and it, if it is off, this contactor will be connected at this point and L2 LED will glow. So you can see L1 is for LT, uh, OLTC supply on LED. Okay. And L2 is OLTC supply off. Okay. The, this are L1 and L2 that we are talking about. Right. So next comes is this emergency push button. So uh, in case of emergency, Whenever in between the tap changing process is occurring and you want to turn off the process, then uh, you can push this emergency push button, okay, and the process will be stopped. So, this is tap position indicator, TPI, okay. So, tap position indicator, it has a circuit that indicates what is the tap number, in the OLTC DM box outside, you can see over here also what is the tap position. So this uh, TPI has the connections like this. You can see over here connections are done and over here you can see the supply voltage is provided. Okay. Now this three wires go to the DM box. Okay, inside this DM box, these three wires are coming and over here, whenever the tap position changes, so this, behind this, we have a 1000 ohm resistance and it has tappings in such a way that whenever the resistance value is increased or decreased, according to the value of resistance, the tap position will change. And these three wires that are connecting this resistor to the OLTC panel, the tap changer indicator, it will indicate the tap position over here, right? So this is the TPI, okay? Tap changer out of step LED, that is L3, this one. And whenever you are changing the tap position and somehow uh, the Whenever the process is in between, whenever the tap position is not completely changed, at that point of time, this L3 LED will glow and it will glow using this contact of TDR1. Uh, we will learn in more in detail about TDR1 later. Now, next, this green box. This green box indicates the circuit for sequence operation. So, Whenever there are multiple transformers in a substation, say there are two transformers or three transformers, then sequence of operation for tap changing is set in such a way that whenever the master is operated, the followers will also change the tap position subsequently or whenever they are put into the independent position, then it will change independently. Okay, so that is the circuit for sequence operation. For now, uh, we have put it in this box. Okay, so we will learn circuit for sequence operation in some other video. Okay, so we will just take the output from this and learn how the further control circuit operates. So uh, inside the DM box in OLTC, uh, we have this 
local and remote switch okay so whenever we select local and remote switch okay we have the option of whenever the local is selected okay so the operation will be done from this OLTC DM box itself so this path of wiring will be selected for the power flow and whenever remote is selected the operation will be done through the RTCC panel okay so this path of power will be flowing okay now we have this independent follower and master switch that is located on the RTCC panel so whenever the remote is selected okay and in this either independent is selected that means the operation of this transformer itself for tap changing will be done whenever master is selected the, after the operation of the trans, this present transformer, the other transformer steps will also be changed subsequently. And if the selection is done for follower, then the whenever the master transformer tap changing is done, automatically this transformer, the follower transformer will also change its step position. Okay, so this is the uh, selector switch for that purpose. Okay, now uh, once we have selected in the independent mode okay so when the independent mode is selected either locally or through remote right operation will be done so in that case this oh, if we are uh, doing through remote okay and the wiring is done for uh, and where selection is done for independent okay uh, then this path will be followed right so in this path you can see there is this push button so raise and lower push buttons if if this push buttons are pressed okay for say suppose raise of the tap position this push button is pressed this contact is closed okay and this circuit will move forward but when you are doing it locally using this raise and lower switch local switch is there okay if raise is selected through this also then through this LCS switch race is selected then further operation in the circuit will be done right now we have this SR relay that comes into picture so this SR relay is the stepping relay this is placed beside this okay inside the DM box over here right so this SR relay is the stepping relay after the contacts are closed for SR relay, then there is one limit switch. Limit switch for RLS. RLS is the uh, raise limit switch. LLS is the lower limit switch. Okay. Now this we will talk about this limit switch. The contacts for this. This are this contacts. Okay. The contactor is over here. MRCR and MRCL. Okay. Now. How this sequence circuit operates is this limit switch are placed for the operation that if the tap position highest is 17. So if the tap position is 17, okay, it should not move further. That is the last. It should we are not supposed to raise the tap position above 17. And lower limit switch is to limit that it the operation does not go below tap position number one. Okay, so if tap position number 1 is selected, then this will come into picture and if we are at the highest tap position RLS, then it will not allow to raise further and this limit switch will not allow to lower further, right? So, these are two limit switch. Next are this contact MRCL. This is from operated from this contactor and MRCR okay this is the contact of this contactor right so whenever we press for the raise this will be operated and whenever we push lower then this contact will be operated so when this is operated you can see the contacts are over here also in the power circuit that we discussed previously so this gets closed for raise this gets closed and the motor starts moving now how whenever we have change the tap position say from we are raising from 6 to 7 the complete operation will be done how this complete operation will be done 
you can see the context of MRCR and MRCL are over here also. So this switches will also be closed. This context will also be closed. So this continuous operation will occur and the step position will be raised. So over here, this resistance, it will have this limit switch. Okay. The context of this remit switch will be within this resistor itself, behind this in the DM box. Okay, and these are MRCR and MRCL. These are responsible for turning on the tap position change. Now we have discussed the turning on of tap position. Okay, now how the process will be turned off? Say we have started the racing to start, we have started to raise the changing of the tap position from 2 to 3. Okay, it has raised. But when it has reached the tap position number 3, how will it stop at tap position number 3? For that, we have this switch called as DSS. See. So, this is the switch uh, DSS. This is very special provision. So, we will discuss about this switch DSS further in the next video. So this is responsible for stopping the tap at a position once it has changed. So in this video we have discussed about the wiring from OLTC DM box to the RTCC panel. Okay. We have discussed how the raising of the tap position is done and once the tap required tap position is achieved how this step changing will stop. We will discuss it in the further video. Right. So actual working we will see of the circuit. And also we will see the master follow wiring in our upcoming videos. Keep watching videos. Uh, if you have any queries you can ask in the comments below. Thank you.